Some say that um, it is sort of risking this type of atemi, this type of attack. It is somewhat more risky, but uh, it may cause a lot of damage, I don't know, beyond just the, the dry hit, the dry, the dry impact. And uh, for example, let's say there are many interesting theories about this. For example, there are fighters that were um, somewhat fat and um, greasy, we could say. You know, their their skin was not easy to be. It wasn't easy to to uh, to place your hand or say in a in a timi or to hit, and uh, not having your your hand um, deflected some somehow. Say it would be um, greasy, you know, like sweaty or something. So in Popo, what we aim to do. So you enter and attack you, you wish. What we aim to do is, instead of striking hard, the idea is to strike entry. And strike, instead of striking just hard, strike entry. And of course, in the middle of all this, each hand that, that passes will pass tearing nose, you know, trying to extract eyes, that is the theory of Fuketsu. The theory of Fuketsu, I mean, um, about this question, how, is, how does Kopo attack the face? Because uh, Kopo is mainly concerned with bones, articulations, and soft tissues. We have seen the origins for the attack, uh, for the attacks on bones, we have seen a bit of tendons, that is, for example, let's say, you, you attack, and then this kind of movement, this kind of movement, or you enter one more time, and uh, this kind of movement, using all the ideas of tendons. The idea of Tetsubo itself relies on, say you enter, and if you wish, the idea of Tetsubo relies on overloading your tendons, so I can find a brief um, uh, amount of time that I can keep on with the techniques. So, one, say you are still with your arm rigid and you are still good to, good to your, your position. So, two, so, three, so, four, you see? So the idea is always is overloading your tendons. Overloading tendons one more time. And as we're talking about explosion, the idea is since I have isolated the plier, or the plier from the support, for example, violently down, there is or the explosion here. So whenever you see something in Kopo or assembly, you attack as you wish. Resembling this, it is a loose form, a, a, a loose way to show, as a matter of fact, that I am overloading your, your back, your hips, separating, isolating plier from support, and from here, break it in a violent explosion. You know, the idea is inward. <coughs> Not like this, of course. Is it? So, we have seen attacks on bones. 
we have seen a bit of overloading tendons. So we have this brief amount of time so we can move, so we can act. We have seen a bit of explosion. The idea of explosion is whenever I isolate support from plier, I have to make sure that all my, my, my movement is restrained, is focused on the plier itself. Attacks to face, to school, to head. Well, although it follows the same basic principles, it was always violent. There is no idea of osai in Kokojutsu. There is no idea of you no know, tapping, no way. It was not part of the thought of that time. No, there was no um, no no master. At least, you know, uh, uh, in our tradition, uh, no master would enter into a situation, a real situation, uh, for for nothing or for or for too little. You know? So the idea was always to defend oneself, defend his lord, or defend his family, or defend his his tribe for honor. And so it was always violent. So the idea of attacking school uh, is mainly based on what is called full tetsu. Full from wind, tetsu from uh, iron, from steel. So wind of steel, wind of iron. And um, it resembles, you know, wherever it touches, it is very strong. So, it uses fingers, it uses hands, particular shapes of hands and of fingers. And when you, when you see studies like this, it is always, for example, you are stopped, so one cup you are stopped, and so one shows attacks, knives, throat, even here. And you will say, but why is he, did he miss it? Did he miss his, his target? Because when you see this, people think, ah, he went for eyes, and then uh, he missed the eyes, or maybe he was, um, he was caring for, his partner, but the idea is that there are many futetsu which attempt to to tear off uh, ear. You know? So all these fragile parts of the of the face of, of the skull actually, and everything that is some, some, somewhat hooked, say nose, mouth, you know, ear. The idea when you see someone attacks and you see in a study or something. This idea is to take it off or nose and he enters, for example, he enters at ski, for example, and you see this idea is to enter from below and carry it off. Or when you see, uh, there are many quite interesting studies that say you do a ski, for example, and I let you complete your movement entering and then, let's try it so everybody can see, and then finger inside your mouth and put it inside your mouth and carry it off. But uh, this is just to um, to answer the question about schools, about how hard you have the attacks towards schools. It is not easy though. It is, it is a particular study and it is always, as we said, a method followed by other methods. So there, uh, a bunch of, uh, there is a, a set of methods in, in, in Goku Jutsu, each for one particular time of a, a confrontation. But whenever you see, please, you are standing still, whenever you see something like this, or something like this, the idea is not to touch his eye. The idea is to try to take eye off. But you will say, how can someone take eye off? because he's putting, uh, he's putting pressure inward, right? But, um, uh, first of all, we have to remember that they would, do, they would enter as violently as he could, putting the, the, eye, the eye glow inward. They would try to hook it and take it off as violently as he could. 
And uh, as a matter of fact, in our country, in Brazil, there are um, there are uh, stories, especially I know um, in farms and in those areas in which um, well there are there are many confrontations, and these confrontations tend to be you know uh, uh, tend to use whatever they whatever they have. It is somewhat rude and uh, rough to be to the urban to the urban standards. So there are stories of people that during confrontations um, stick his 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 thumb inside the eye, but um, his his nail was quite big, so that nail got snow, uh, in, uh, inside. It stick it it cut actually and pierced through the eye. And then took it off by tearing apart of the eye. Uh, these are stories that that we that that came to us when we we went for studying these kinds of of consequences. You know, when you reach for eye or for or for something like that. But the, the idea of Fudetsu, as you're asking, is always says he entered, right? So the idea is piercing through or when entering. Entering and piercing through one more time. And there are many exercises for that. Usually using sand, small stones, bamboo, for making your fingers quite strong and um, your hands very strong. Kopojutsu does rely on the on the hand preparations. Mm -hmm.